Hey guys, in this video, let's simplify the concept of data science. If you search online for what is data science, you will get several different definitions like data science is the process of extracting insights from data or data science is a method of predicting future by analyzing existing data or data science is the field of transforming raw data into useful insights, etc, etc. None of these are incorrect. However, if we had to explain data science in the most simplest of terms, then we can say that data science is the field of using data to solve a problem. The problem can be anything such as how to grow a business or how to increase your revenue or how to sell a product, how to recommend appropriate movies or how to recommend appropriate products to your customers, how to minimize the cost of a company, how to showcase best search results in Google or YouTube or any other search engine. Basically, the answers to the most trickiest of questions can be obtained by applying the methods of data science. The ultimate goal of data science is to help you take better decisions. For example, Netflix uses data science methods to identify the movies which its customers are most likely to watch. Based on this information, Netflix recommends different movies to each of its customers. Financial institutions like bank or insurance companies have always collected huge amount of customer data. But by using the methods of data science, they are now able to transform these raw data into useful insights, which in turn helps them to better understand their customers, which helps them to sell more new products and features to their customers, hence increasing their revenue. To sum up, data science is just the field of applying scientific methods to data to solve a problem. Most of the corporate companies today have a dedicated data science team which is aimed at solving specific company problems by applying the methods of data science. In order to completely understand data science, you need to first try to understand how a life cycle of data science project looks like. Generally, there are six stages in the data science project. Let's try to understand them. The first stage is understanding the requirement or understanding what the problem is. Before starting the project, we should first know what we are trying to achieve or what is a problem that we are trying to solve. Asking the right questions is very important during this stage. Generally, a data scientist, data analyst or a business analyst would be involved in this stage. Once you understand the requirement, the next stage is to extract the data and cleanse it. Data may be structured as well as unstructured and can be present in multiple different sorts. It's the job of a data engineer or a software engineer to extract this data into a centralized repository. Once the raw data is extracted, next step is to cleanse the data, which may involve fixing any issues with the data such as removing duplicate values or incorrect values, etc. Cleansing of data also includes removing of data which may not be required currently to solve the existing problem. This stage may also include transformation of data so as to standardize the data extracted from multiple different sources. Big data tools like Hadoop, Spark are a few popular tools which are used during this stage. Now that data is extracted, the next step is to analyze the data. This stage involves analyzing, understanding and investigation of data. This is an important stage where data analyst or a data scientist may need to identify patterns, spot the anomalies, summarize the data and draw meaningful insights from data. This is a stage where current as well as historical data are analyzed. Python, R, SQL and spreadsheets like Excel are a few commonly used tools during this stage. Once the data is analyzed, it's time to visualize data. The knowledge and insights gained by data analysis needs to be now represented in the form of a dashboard or a report which can then be shared with stakeholders. The aim of data visualization is to showcase the useful information hidden in the data in a more visually appealing and easily understandable format. Generally, data analyst or data scientist would be involved in this stage. Popular tools used are Tableau, Power BI, etc. Next comes the stage of making predictions. Based on the current and historical data which were analyzed and visualized during the previous stages, predictions can be made on how the data would look like in the future. This is achieved by applying statistical modeling and machine learning techniques to the existing data. For example, banks can apply predictive analytics to customer data to identify the potential customers who are more likely to apply for a loan or purchase a credit card. 
This way, bank will now know the customers whom they need to target in order to gain more revenue. It's generally the data scientists who are involved during the predictive analytics phase. This is the stage where machine learning models are widely used. The final stage in data science project is prescriptive analytics. Now that existing data is analyzed and predictions are made, it's time to take action. This is the stage where decisions are made so as to make sure the predictions come true. Prescriptive analytic models provide action items to be taken to solve a problem. I hope this video was helpful and it gave you some idea on what data science is. If you like this video, then please make sure to like, subscribe and comment any feedback you may have. Also, please do not hesitate to share this video with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in understanding data science in the most simplest of terms. Thank you.